Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, over the last few days, the Australian dollar has failed to even show any direction in terms of where we are likely to go. It's still lower. Next week, the market is pricing in and most probably see a rate cut in June. This could lead on to another one in August. This would push the market down to close to 1%. There is speculation that the market could even fall as low as 0.75 or even 0.50 to try and start putting some kind of momentum back into the economy. However, from a technical point, I am still viewing bare to the case that any rise to 69.40 to 69. 85 as a supply zone and then you should see the market fall back with the initial objective remaining towards 68 cents with the negated bullish outside range day the market fell further overnight and back to this stab level which is around 111.10 at present though i still believe the market can get down to 110.785 before turning around with a cap Seen around 111.85 and higher, stronger at 112.55.65. Well, it would seem that the dolly yen case has turned around after the market managed to post a bullish outside range day. Would like to see further confirmation before coming out to any call. A break above 109.75.85 would give us that and lead us on towards 110.55. Dips still like to be shallow around 109.10.15. But from a technical point, it's, it's very encouraging that the bulls may gather. The pound has posted another low as it goes into the, the end of the week. Is that the pressure is still remaining towards the region of 126, even though there is divergence. I'm not a bear down here. The fact is that we could easily see this market snap to the upside and look back towards 127, 60, 70 to 128, 20, 35. The gold once again is disappointing as the market backs away from 1,288. The spot gold is now easing back towards the bottom side of the range, which is around 1,270. At present, we're in a range trade, so the bulls are still likely to be at 1,270, and I do expect to see a recovery come back into play. Finishing off with, with oil. Now, the market took us stabbed to the downside and now post a very impressive candle this being a dragonfly the dragonfly indicates that markets should stage further bullishness and if so we could see a break back above 60 dollars if if we do then this would lead us back towards 62 so i am not a bear down here and i actually quite like this pattern coming through here so we could see a further bull case for the oil well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Insta report. And I hope you enjoy the great start to this new day.